What's up, party people? It is Brian here with Unrival Multimedia. The Dallas Cowboys are now 3-1 and one after a comeback victory against the San Francisco 49ers, winning 24-17, led by the one and only Dak Prescott after being down 14 to nothing. Oh, and without Des Bryant and two offensive starting linemen. This was a game, if you saw the first quarter, you thought the Cowboys were going to get blown out the way they were playing. The defense was getting gashed by the run. Blaine Gabbert was completing passes. And Dan Bailey, who seems to never miss a field goal, missed a field goal. This first quarter was a disaster. And then the second quarter came... And it seemed like Dak Prescott was going to will this team to victory as he got two touchdown passes, one to Terrence Williams, which is a surprise, and the even bigger surprise, one to Bryce Butler. Led the team down the field twice and got this team tied at halftime. The defense seemed to really perk up and stop blank everyone once the second quarter start, started from running and completing passes. Carlos Hyde was no longer able to run the ball at will. And it was a really, really big quarter. And then the second half came, and you just knew, as a defense really just played its best football of the year, Mo Claiborne was out of sight getting tackles and also the big interception in the fourth quarter, limiting the 49ers to only three points in the second half, the big interception, like I said, by Mo Claiborne, and also... You had Ezekiel Elliott just become an absolute beast in the second half. Finishing this game with 138 yards rushing. Had the touchdown in the fourth quarter to take the lead. And Dak Prescott once again making key plays with his arm and also with his legs. And again, he did not throw an interception game. And now is tied for the second longest start of a career with 131 passes without an interception. The guy who leads the NFL as far as record-wise to start his career is the one and only Tom Brady. That is right. Dak Prescott is in that kind of rarefied air right now to start his career. And I just think he should be the permanent starter because now we've seen him in an adverse situation, down two touchdowns, and come back and lead the team to victory. They play with so much passion right now, really focused, and the defense seems to feed off of the offense's enthusiasm. You've seen them now without their top player in Des Bryant, without two offensive linemen. What more, honestly, do you need to see from Dak Prescott? He has played a full, solid month of NFL football and been very, very good. So I believe that he should continue to be the starter, even if Romo is healthy. And once... Romo comes back, you just know that you have somebody behind Dak Prescott who is going to be good. So, I want to know from all you Cowboy fans out there, do you agree with this? And also, about the spirited play of the defense in Mo Claiborne. I want to know what you Cowboy fans think about that. So, as always, please give this video a thumbs up. Share this video. And please do subscribe to Unrivaled Multimedia. And until next time, take it easy.